everybody, it's Maggie Mulhern from Modern Salon TV. We are backstage at Fashion Week, the Fall Winter 2018 collections. We're at the Blondes, and I am here with my really good friends. <laughs> I am here with Cheyenne Clark and Chelsea Lindy, and you guys are assisting Kien at this show, yeah, right? We are. Hey, I'm really digging your lipstick. Hey, that's really, that's, you. It's that's Orbe really lipstick. Day. She just took mine. <laughs> <laughs> it, looks, it looks better on her. Um, I, so they are taking a break because their models are in makeup. And we, I just looked over and I said, I didn't even know you guys had all this stuff. And we're going to talk about the things that you need to bring and wear when you're in Fashion Week. So we'll start with you, Cheyenne, since you're next to me. Okay. Tell me about this thing. So I have scissors on a scissor leash. Mine. But I did take them from Chelsea. So um, my favorite clips. Every product that we need for this look, and a few doubles here. And of course, you need a gold comb when you're working with Orbe. Yeah. And tell us, where do you get this whole bag? Where do you get this bag? I Amazoned it. So you can look up like tool belts. Um, I mean, they have tons of them. Nothing too fancy. Have you used every single thing on you right now? Uh, yes. <laughs> yes, yes, definitely. Okay, so and it probably weighs. It has to weigh like at least five pounds. It's five, a workout. Yeah, it's like it's not yeah, too bad. It's, it's a little workout. I mine. All right, so uh, now I'm going to switch with you. So, so Miss <laughs> Chelsea, it's so funny because I said, Chelsea, what's go what's going on here? Uh -huh. And tell us what happened. You're having a wardrobe malfunction, or what happened? Here? A little bit. My partner did, and I thought I was good to go, but I had to hold something under my arm, and then I looked over it, and it was stuck to me. <laughs> And it's glue. It's, it's glue. glue. It's so, glue. so that is something. I mean, would you ever wear an apron to work backstage? You know, under certain circumstances, I probably would, because this is a new shirt. Oh. So, so now, now, now it's I'm marked and a special memory. Okay. So, so tell us about your belt. How's it different? Uh, so mine is a little similar. Uh, I do have my gold comb as well. I have a couple of different smoothing brushes depending on what look we are doing at the moment. And I like to mark my combs being pink because then it, I'm less likely to lose them and things get taken. Um, I also have some of these as well. Some of these clips are a little easier to pin hair back um, than others. These glide in a little bit better, I feel like. And these are great for holding the hair back when you're trying to keep something sleek on the sides. And obviously room for hairspray. I do like to keep a little bit of lip balm in here, which I don't have on me at the moment, but you know, when you're like really intense with what you're doing and it's really hot, you tend to get a little trapped. And then when the camera comes on, that's what you put on color. And then also when we do have a break, we do like to take pictures of things, so you know. Is that allowed? Is that is that okay? Well, it's not, you don't want to have it out, you know, when you're working, like that's unprofessional. But we, there is a time when we're allowed to take pictures and you always have to wait until after the show starts. It's a big, it's a big, big thing. It's a big no-no to post anything before the show. Uh, you want to make sure that the photographers are the ones that get the shots going. And then after that, when we're all done working, for the show, then we can start posting. That's a really stuff. good tip. You know, if you do get an opportunity like this, do not post anything. So I'm going to ask you each one tip that anybody who gets an opportunity to do Fashion Week, what he or she should know, the one tip that you would never think about. All right, Miss Cheyenne Clark. Hmm. Well, I think um, the biggest thing is to just think before you think ahead so you're always thinking ahead what the lead stylist needs what your partner needs um, just always checking on everyone to make sure that they're not left alone because a lot of the times it's just best to work in pairs or even sometimes three or four <laughs> people on one model so never leave your your buddy alone um, and also just keep thinking ahead onto the next thing always what we're going to need what we don't have and yeah. Well, you've given Chelsea a lot of time to think about yeah. her tip. What is your tip? <laughs> Mine is just to remember your basics because everything is built from a foundation. It's going back to back combing properly. It's going back to product control. It's braids. It's being able to section cleanly. All of those things that you learn from the beginning and that you do in the salon, you carry with you backstage. It's just being elaborated on 
and adding additional hair pieces with glue. <laughs> and what's so cool is I've been following them on their journey during this fashion week. And what I love is that they're walking around with mannequin heads and when they get a break, they're practicing. They're practicing braiding. They're looking at braiding videos. So don't take things for granted. These are people who are experienced hairdressers and people who have been leads for other shows are always working on their foundations. You guys, I'm so excited for you. The last show of the season, we're at the Blondes, the Fall Winter 2018 collection, and the look's pretty cool. You want to do a quick pan uh, to see what's going on here? Not that we're necessarily going to see the hair, but just to see the environment. And that's far enough back here because because we got to go. But thank you so much. Thank you for tuning in. Thank you, Miss Chelsea and Cheyenne. Uh, I'm so happy for you, and congratulations. Thank you so much. All right, we'll see you. Bye.